when you first built the facility, then did you have to train the cows to know how to do it? We did. The first group that we brought over here, it took us two and a half weeks uh, before we started seeing them come on their own. So. So, and now how long does it take to break in a new recruit? Now it only takes about seven to 10 days to start seeing them come on their own. Because now. they're following the other cows and you don't, do you have to intervene at all in that process? Or for the most part, they're just learning from the other cows? For the first four or five days, you know, we will bring them to the robot, put them in the robot, make sure they get milk at least twice a day. Uh, and then once they learn, uh, then they'll come on their own and they're just kind of on autopilot after that. That's miraculous. All right, we talked about that mixture and what you feed them. How much of that do they eat in a day? They will eat 100 to 120 pounds of feed in a day of that. A piece? A piece. Each cow? Each cow. Is eating over 100 pounds of feed every day? Right. But they're making 85, 86 pounds, that's about 10 gallons of milk a day. So that's so. that's a good input in for input out, but that's part of the reason that they produce so much. The fact that they produce so much makes it all the more important for you to have a system like this. Right. So they can line up and, and stay comfortable. Right. They're not waiting. Look, everybody, we're on schedules. You like to eat at a certain time, maybe go to bed at a certain time, get up at a certain time. Right. Sometimes things change. I would think sometimes these udders get full quicker than other times. Right. And rather than waiting in discomfort, yep. they just line up at the chute. That's right. Come through the door, get on the belt, go get it done. 